Mr. Jordan Mullenhauer of Knoxville. Uh, the governor has appointed Mr. Mullenhauer to the State Board of Education for a term that will expire <clears throat> on March 31st, 2026. Mr. Mullenhauer is a respected member of his community in the Knoxville area. I am curious whether the governor when making this appointment was aware that this nominee is named individually in litigation alleging that he and his company illegally sold ammunition to juveniles, which was then used in one of the largest school shootings in our nation's history. Uh, I am aware that there was litigation, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe the litigation was dismissed in a federal district court. I don't know Mr. Mullenhauer, but I have read his bio, and as I mentioned in my description of the, the resolution there, Mr. Mullenhauer is a very successful business person. Um, there, I believe, with regards to the situation you referenced, there has been no allegation whatsoever of any type of criminal activity. So it is a civil litigation, but, he is, but Mr. Mullenhauer individually is accused of having acted in violation of a criminal statute, 18 U.S.C. 226. That's what the allegation in that, compl in that claim, in that lawsuit is, is that they violated the criminal code of the United States. And it's not, uh, you know, where he's an investor, this is a company that, 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 that Mr. Molinaro founded. Like he, he owns it in its entirety, I believe. And if the administration didn't know the full details about this, well, I mean, that's inexcusable, but if they did know, that's worse. There are seven million people in this state. Like, we ought to be able to find one who's not involved in ongoing litigation about possible responsibility in a school shoot, but we should know what the real information is on this before going down this path and potentially making a appointment to a nine member board that raises this kind of issue and frankly threatens to undermine confidence in the board.